I am uh, Jacob Rader. I am a second year uh, teacher here at the Haverford School and I teach upper school ceramics. As a teacher, um, trying to uh, specifically teach a skill or a technique that is by its very nature extremely hands-on, such as using our hands to throw a pot on the potter's wheel. And I was really kind of fascinated about the potential to essentially use my hands. How do I transfer my hands, the direct kind of knowledge that I have into a, a student? The Soft Robotics Club took on the challenge of finding a technical solution to Mr. Rader's vision, and they designed a glove. First, the sensor glove containing a small force sensor reads the correct pressure the teacher applies. Then, a second actuator glove powered by a fluid control board is worn by students to perfect their pot making skills. Just as we began to produce these gloves for Mr. Rader's class, we encountered a problem. The new nets actuators had a lot of different layers that you had to put on top of one another. You had to pour multiple layers of silicone and you had to remove them from the mold. It was a very difficult process. And what we tried to do was to make it a one pour, one mold system. Student Ed King finds a solution for this problem and named the actuators created using his unique method, the King Actuators. What I figured out I could do is if I take a piece of polystyrene, which is known as uh, styrofoam, and embed it inside of a mold, and I later found out that I could use the chemical reaction between the acetone and the polystyrene to uh, turn the polystyrene into a liquid of sorts and you could actually pump it out through a small hole which would be in turn used to pump the air in. Ed's discovery inspired more innovations. If hand-cut polystyrene can be used as a placeholder, why not other dissolvable materials? Uh, when we were manufacturing the new King actuators, I noticed that the foam was very labor intensive and inaccurate to make. So I found a new material, which is polyvinyl alcohol, which easily dissolves in water and is e able to be 3D printed easily. So I designed the inserts in AutoCAD and then 3D printed it using the new PVA filament and used that as the inserts. The internals have endless possibility to their shapes. Right now we've played around with trapezoids, um, spheres, and slanted objects for the internals, and these each give the actuation a different feel and angle. To accommodate the inserts, we also redesigned the 3D printed mode, which now holds the dissolvable inserts firmly with ease. So the applications of this glove are to act as a mu muscle memory for um, people in general so they can learn how to throw pottery uh, more efficiently. This year our team has grown in size as well as in talent. And it's a collaboration among students with unique skill sets made innovations like the King Actuator and the Ceramics Glove possible. Please join us in our effort to develop the future of soft robotics.